Hello everybody. In this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can create an object such as the one that's been shown on screen whereby the prominence of two edges gradually fades away. By the way, this is a viewer requested video. Before I begin, I would like to state that this is a fairly advanced surfacing demo and if you are not familiar with the essentials and principles of surface continuity, you might want to click on the link below this video for tutorials pertaining to this area of work. Okay, let's start. Okay, I have drawn the construction curves and align the reference images. Now what I need to do is to find the convergent point of the top and bottom edges of this profile. Should be somewhere around here. I'm going to draw a circle that will have its circumference coinciding with the top and lower edges of this region of the profile. Now let's proceed to draw the relevant profile curves. I'm going to start with the top curve. It might take a while. I'm going to do some fine adjustments now. I will speed up certain portion of the video so as to not to bore you with the fine adjustments. I'm going to draw this profile, making some fine adjustments. Tracing this edge okay. I'm going to draw a profile that is um, not immediately noticeable Basically it is going to be the middle portion of the top and bottom edge of that particular detail. It might take a while. I'm going to create some kind of guide curves that will be necessary as aids for drawing the curves in the top view. Notice that I'm using the project option on the object snap to assist me in getting the position of the guide curves. Another guide curve. Okay, now I'll start to draw the necessary curves in the top view. Okay, this part is going to be a bit tricky. As I have to do some kind of um, guessing work. What I want to do 
is to create a curve that has its ends coinciding with the side profile okay, one end here let me do some fine adjustments oops Okay, I've got the profile for one edge for the top view. Now I need to draw the profile for the top view for another edge. Let me do some fine adjustments. Okay, almost there. I need to do some alignment work. Make sure that the edges are properly aligned. Snap. Make sure snapping to the intersection position. from two view first 3d profile curve second 3d profile curve great I think they are looking fine okay now what I'm going to do is going to use a rebuild curve non uniform to reduce the control points to make sure that the end here is in contact with the edge of the other curve something like that to split this curve split this as well yeah split it going to execute a mirror command mirror the curves onto the other side create a surface from these curves let's hide the rest I think I'm going to create some inner cross sections mirror
interpolate curve Okay, maybe something like that. Let's use patch to create the surface, the initial one. See how it goes. This surface will need some refinements. I'm going to adjust some of the control points. Match curve, match this to this edge, set to tangent. Trim away one half. Sweep two rail, create the initial surface for this side area. Okay, I mentioned our initial surface because we still have to make. Uh, find adjustments okay I created a curve and then create another one to be used for creating a new side surface that has a more properly matched profile to that of the top surface Something like that for a start. Let me do some fine adjustments. Pressing the tap key. Okay, going to adjust this. If you are not familiar with surface continuity principles, um, I recommend that you watch some of my earlier videos with regards to that aspect of CAD surfacing. You might want to click on the link below this video if you want to watch those tutorials regarding surface continuity. Let me do the sweep to rail again, this time including these new sections. Circle and all curve. I'm going to create another section here. 
cross section. Maybe something like that. I'm not too sure, I'm just making an intuitive guess. Sweet one rail, rail, cross section, cross section. Extra elbow curve. Delete the initial sweet one. Let's make a smaller cross section over here. Sweep one rail again. Cross section, cross section, cross section, enter. Extend surface. Let's hide the rest. Split. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. Now I'm going to create an adjustable curve plan. Make sure that the continuity for the both ends are set to curvature or even higher. Let's see how it looks like for G3. I think I'll just stick to G2. I'm gonna make some fine adjustments for better looking profile adjust a curve blend again set to at least a G2 for both ends oops let me repeat this again Sweep two rail, first rail, oops. In that case, I have to fix the edge. Let me perform some remove knots to reduce the amount of control points and also uh, to ensure a better surface
Sweet to real? Oh. Okay, let me do the merge edge. Sweep two rail. First rail, second rail, cross section, cross section. Add slash. Control the cross section profile. Make sure that the uh, edge continuity is set to curvature for A and B. Okay. This part doesn't look good. Let me delete this. Adjust work of plan again. There's too much control points at the corner. Okay, remove knots. Let me match this again. No good. Let me try to create more constraining cross sections. Extract also curve. Delete. Match this to the edge. Hmm. Not sure whether this looks good or not. to make some modifications and most probably create a more refined cross section again project this onto these two surface this one the one did it Just work up blend again.
as you can see this kind of surfacing work that requires surface continuity of a higher order can be quite tedious seems to be slightly better but I think we still can improve it let me try to use remove knots to remove those excessive control points at the end Oh, this flow is no good. You can see the control point is uh, dipping. Go delete that. Seems to be better. Let's do some more adjustments. check the zebra uh, there's some kind of discontinuity let me do some kind of adjustments oops Project. Maybe let me change the angle a bit before I do a project again. Delete, delete. Project. Just per plan. Oops. Let me create a new blended curve. So two rail, first rail, second rail, cross section, cross section, cross section, enter. slash we are getting there we are getting there but still need refinements Remove knots. I'm doing a match surface. Uh, 
the zebra analysis show that we still can make some kind of refinement. I'm going to use the remove knots to smooth out the surface further. some fine adjustments let's do the match surface again do some fun adjustments as I've done the record history by adjusting the parent surface control points I'm able to see the update of the match in real time this way we can do fine adjustments with good control Okay, let's create the rest of the details. I'm going to create one more profile curve in the top view corresponding to the bottom edge. Snap this. Make sure that the ends are aligned. Let's just select what we need and hide the rest. OK, 
Okay, something like that. Join. Sweep to real. Auto chain, yes. First real. Second rail, cross section, cross section, position, okay. Do a join, Let's mirror this to the other side. Mirror and let's just view the bottom surface and we can conclude this very lengthy demo. Click join. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this demonstration. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.